talk picture and good pictures too in this next report for an extraordinary event. Biblically, Jesus walked on water and you may have heard of people praying out at sea. But a church procession on the water with temporary altars on reefs? Watch on for Corpus Christi in Medan. Corpus Christi means the body of Christ in Latin. It is celebrated by the Catholic Church on Thursdays following Trinity Sunday. Corpus Christi was ordered by Pope Eubén IV in 1264, and since then it had been customary to carry the Blessed Sacrament in processions around the church buildings, often stopping at temporary altars to pray. God, Papa, mi pala pre belong helpi mi pala yet. Baba mi pala all get here is stop today. One time helping belong you. Na grazie belong you. Baba mi pala inap come up. God pala this belong you. Long this pala mi pala pray. Harem pray belong mi pala. With the final blessings back at the main church. In Medang, the Corpus Christi celebrations were revived after five years the first in the new millennium. It began at Malmal -Mal village and ended at Riwo village. The start of the procession of the Blessed Sacrament had the traditional solemnity of Corpus Christi. What followed in the next two to three hours was unique and gave both the young and old followers of the church a whole new meaning about Jesus Christ. Over a thousand Catholics of Malmal -Mal and Riwa villages and priests and missionaries, staff and students of the Divine Word University decided to paddle with the Blessed Sacrament. The procession of the body and blood of Jesus Christ over water. A few Port Mosby followers also flew across to Medang to take part. The idea of a religious service on water was taken on enthusiastically by the people. There had been some planning as the people took time to build at least three altars out on the reefs and carefully decorated their boats, whether they were dugout outriggers, banana or speedboats. Over 100 such boats were involved in the Corpus Christi procession. On this Sunday, the young people, particularly boys who would opt for football, found this religious event more appealing, a chance to be out on the water with friends and family members. The heavens also appeared to have noticed the day was particularly good. In a rush not to be left behind, some tipped over trying to get there. Even some domestic animals were not going to let this good day pass. Those who couldn't get out onto the water were involved from the shore and being resourceful in the process. But it was a spiritual occasion and the significance of Corpus Christi was celebrated in its totality. The benediction at the altars as written by St. Thomas Aquinas and orders of celebration as issued by Pope Eubain IV in 1264. The celebrants for this Corpus Christi were Fathers Pat Cash, Henry Mishek, and young Chuba. At one altar, Father Cash reflected on the importance of this occasion. So you may come boom long one pala big pala festa day today. Me look him all this pala canoe bilas na belblo me kirap. Meeting all this pala big pala work long rivo na mal malay stop long time finish. Now this pala something you please have a make him some pala all year. Now, time me around on this fellow something, me have a feeling him nice, na nice all getter. Long round on this fellow, Solwara, long Mau Mau Na Rivo, 
Na find him ama muscle on this fellow way belong honor him body na blood belong Christ. At the next altar, Father Henry Mishek took charge of the benedictions. He prayed for the good we have, including the clear blue waters of Madang. Protect him, this pelawara below me, pala no kind of pollution below industry. By this pala poison below industry, no bagger up in place below me, pala on this pala you may pray. I am prayer below me, pala. Carrying the blessed sacrament throughout the procession was Father Chuba, also the president of the Divine Word University, who completed the Corpus Christi at Rewa Village. A notable visitor to this particular service was the head of the University of Goroka. This is a real experience. It's an expression of faith by our people. It demonstrates that the Lord is king of all and has domain over all that is on earth and in the heaven. And the ceremony this morning demonstrates the people's faith that all that they own and have belongs to the king of all, and that is the Lord. And therefore, they are more than prepared to bring the Lord Christ into their environment, to the people, their places where they gather their strength from, their villages, the place where they fish, where they collect their food, and so it is an experience that basically says he is the king of all and has dominion over all the world. And it is our responsibility to share our lives with him and to make sure that he reigns forever in our villages, in our communities, and in our nation. This religious event ended for the year, but the temporary altars built out on the reefs will not be dismantled, at least not by those who built them as part of a symbol of respect. <laughs>